Hello and welcome to Science in 5. I'm Vismita Gupta-Smith. We are talking today about the first ever malaria vaccine with Dr. Pedro Alonso. Welcome, Pedro. Talk to us, please, about the first malaria vaccine and its potential. We are at a historical point in time. Um, a first malaria vaccine is being recommended for broad-scale use um, among African children to help prevent malaria in, in, this, in this group. Um, it is the first uh, vaccine to reach uh, this stage of a formal policy recommendation and therefore this makes it a historical point in time. The vaccine contributes to our toolkit um, and therefore it will be used in combination with the other tools that, that we have. And the vaccine reaches this stage at a critical point in time in our fight against malaria. Uh, malaria is uh, probably the largest killer of humans along history. Uh, we have seen amazing progress over the first 15 years of this century. Uh, 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 unprecedented progress which resulted in, in more than 7 million deaths averted, more than 1.5 billion malaria cases averted. But the stark truth is that for the last four or five years we have seen this uh, progress uh, plateauing and plateauing at an unacceptably high, high level. We still have more than 200 million malaria cases in people living in malaria endemic countries every year. We have more than 400,000 deaths due to malaria every year and the brunt of the disease and death is carried by Africa and mostly uh, by African, African children. Pedro, which is the group that should receive this vaccine? And talk to us about the safety of this vaccine. This is a vaccine developed in Africa uh, with very strong engagement of African scientists and aimed to prevent malaria disease and death among African children. The vaccine has now been used in over 800,000 uh, children as part of our pilot implementation programs. It builds on previous uh, work, phase three trial um, uh, data that were also examined by a, a stringent regulatory authority, the European Medicines Agency, that issued a positive recommendation on, on this vaccine. And we are reassured on the good safety profile of, of this vaccine. This is a safe and efficacious vaccine that can contribute to uh, save lives, uh, prevent disease. Pedro, please speak to us about the challenges of uh, rolling out this vaccine in the midst of a pandemic. What we have found over the last uh, two and a half years of rolling out in pilot programs the malaria vaccine in three African countries is indeed that there is very strong demand there is a very good acceptability by the populations and that even in the face of COVID-19, we reached very high levels of coverage within a short period of time. And that speaks of, of, of the fundamental value and acceptance of vaccines in general and of a malaria vaccine, particularly in Africa. Moving forward, I believe that there are a number of steps that we'll still need to go through. Uh, the funding to secure the supply of these vaccines to African countries still needs to be uh, worked out. Uh, but we are optimistic. We cannot imagine a situation where um, international solidarity will not generate the financial resources to allow this vaccine to reach those uh, that need it. And in the face of COVID-19, um, the resilience of health systems and particularly of uh, vaccine delivery mechanisms also in Africa uh, gives us hope that um, this vaccine will be able to, to get those uh, ultimate beneficiaries, young African children. Thank you, Dr. Pedro Alonso. That was Science in 5 today. Until next time then, stay safe. Stay healthy and stick with science.